Hi kids! For today's video, we are going to talk about the prepositions of place. So now, Mr. Monkey, do you want to listen to a song? Okay, so let's listen to the starfish. Sing starfish. The starfish is not in the ocean. The starfish is on the hot sand. The starfish is under the seaweed. The starfish is lonely and sad. So pick up the sad little starfish and then put him back in the sea. Now the starfish is next to the jellyfish and the starfish is happy and free. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Monkey. As you can see, kids, Laila is telling us about some locations with the objects. So let's take a look at the new words for today. So we have in, on, under, and next to. Let's read some sentences. I am in the ocean. I am in the ocean. The starfish is under the seaweed. The starfish is under the seaweed. The seashells are on the sand. Here you can see the seashells. The seaweed is next to the fish. Now, let's practice with Mr. Monkey. Mr. Monkey is in, is in my jacket. He's in my jacket, right? Mr. Monkey is on my head. He's on my head. Mr. Monkey is under the book. He's under the book. And Mr. Monkey is next to the teacher. Next to the teacher. All right. Now let's take a look at some more ideas here. Is Next to this black spider. What is next to the black spider? Yes, is the orange seashell. Excellent. Now let's practice a little bit more. Now let's look at some new vocabulary for today. And we are also talking about clothes. So let's listen and repeat the clothes. Ready? Listen and repeat. Page 42. Communicate. Words. A. Listen and point to the words. Listen again and say the words. Jacket. Jacket. Shorts. Shorts. Sneakers. A sneakers. T-shirt. T-shirt. Hat. Hat. Pants. Pants. Jacket, jacket, shorts, shorts, sneakers, sneakers, t-shirt, t-shirt, hat, hat, pants, pants. Very good. Excellent. Now, look at the pictures and circle the words. What clothes do you see? So let's take a look at the girl number one. Is she wearing pants? Yeah. She's wearing a t-shirt. Yeah. And that's it. All right, let's go with number two. Sneakers? No, we cannot see sneakers. And hat? No hat. All right. Let's look at the boy. Is he wearing a jacket? Yes, he is. Is he wearing shorts? Yes, he is. What about pants? No, he's not wearing pants. In a t-shirt? No, he's not wearing a t-shirt. He's wearing a shirt. All right, the girl in number three, is she wearing a jacket? No, she's not. A hat? Yeah. Pants? No. A sneakers? Yeah, she's wearing a sneakers. All right, very good. All right, let's move on. Now that we practice, let's take a look here and let's use the phrases, okay? 
Here we have a boy and he's telling us about use the words in the box, okay? Tell your class about the picture. So let's see. Page 43. Communicate. Speaking. E. Tell the class about your picture. Use the words in the box to help. I'm in the ocean. I have a yellow hat and red shorts. There's a starfish next to me. It's orange. Very good. So when you make your descriptions, you have to say, I have, there is, or it's. All right. Now that we have practiced the new topics, now open your book, your workbook, and we are going, we are going to develop the book, all right? So open your book here, and let's do our worship together. Let's go to page 32. Page 32. Okay, are you ready? Learn grammar. So we have a little friend here, Dot, and she's reminding us about in, on, under, and next to. In means adentro. Very good. On, encima. Very good. Under, debajo. And next to a lado. Let's see some examples. The starfish is in the seashell. Mm -hmm. Look at it. It's in the seashell. The starfish is on the seashell. Look at it here. The starfish is under the seashell. The starfish is next to the seashell. Yeah, and you can do these kind of examples with everybody. Okay, let's do exercise B. Look and circle yes or no. So let's take a look. The lizard is next to the spider. Yes or no? Yes. Excellent. Number two. The pencil is on the desk. Yes or no? The correct answer is yeah. Now please circle. Please circle here in yes. All right. Excellent. The jellyfish is on the sand. Is on the sand, yes or no? Is it? Yes, it is. Oh, it's not really on the sand, but whatever. All right. What about the tortoise is under the elephant? The tortoise is under the elephant, yes or no? Yeah, very good. It's under. All right, now let's go to the next page. Look and circle the correct words. So we're going to look at the image. Yeah, we see a jellyfish, a fish, a seashell, a starfish. Yeah, okay. Number one, the jellyfish is next to or under the seaweed. It's, it's next to. Very good. Number two, the fish is on or in the ocean. On the ocean, in is in the ocean correct the seashell is on or next to the rock let's take a look here where is the seashell is on the rock excellent four the fish is next to or under the jellyfish here is the jellyfish and the fish so is he next to or under correct is under wonderful all right. D. Look at complete the sentences. The small fish is under the seaweed, right? Okay. Number two. The small fish is. Where is it? Is. Under, on, or in? Excellent. In is in. A seashell in a seashell. Now let me open this up a little more so you can see it big, big, big. All right. Seashell in a seashell. All right. Very good. 
Now they give us the S, so we just write this down. Mm -hmm. Number three, the small fish is, where is the small fish? Uh-huh, is on a big fish. Very good. It's on. The small fish is on a big fish. So let's write it down. Fish. Perfect. Now number four. The fish is happy. He is what? On, next to, under. Correct. Next to. He's next to. Next to. He's next to his friend, right? His fish friend next to a fish friend. Let's write it. Ah. He's next to a his friend or a kid. Is he's next to his friend? All right, just, just leave it like this. Good. Let's continue. Okay, which one is number seven? Which one is number seven? Number one, number two, number seven. All right, match the words to the picture. Now, in the next page, we are talking about clothes. So you have to match with your colors. I'm going to take my color here. Number one, T-shirt. A, right? What about B or jacket? Which one is jacket? Which letter is it? Do you find out? Excellent is E. So we're going to draw a line and match it to E. Now let's change colors. Let's change the color. I'm going to use color blue now. Yeah? Shorts. Which letter is shorts? Excellent. B. B. Wonderful. All right. Let's go with pants. Which letter is pants? F. All right. Perfect. F. I'm going to change my color and I'm going to use yellow for pants. Pants to letter F. Wonderful. Now, sneakers. Who has the sneakers? The letter C. The boy has the sneakers. And I'm using color green now. Yeah. All right. So, sneakers. C. All right. Which one is missing? Hat. Who has the hat? Correct. The girl has the hat. And let's change it to black. I'm going to use black. All right. So is the letter D. Okay, perfect. Now that we match the clothes, we have to complete the words. Where do the clothes go? Complete the words. Look and draw the lines. Okay. So number one is hat. <clears throat> number two, which one is it? T-shirt. Good. And where does it go? Here. Okay, let me make my colors first. And then we do the words, okay? Excellent. What about number three? What word do you think it is? Excellent is a jacket. And where does the jacket go? Yeah, right here. Okay. Let's change the color. Let's use blue. What about four? Pants. Correct. It's pants. All right. What about number five? Number five? A sneakers. And where do they go? Here. And number six, which one is it? Why do you think it goes here? T-shirt, jacket, shorts, sneakers. Oh, and this one was shorts. Okay. Very good. Now let's go here. Let's make really quickly. Tú vas a completar las palabras. En, en tu libro, ok, t-shirt, aquí, t-shirt, very good, so you write it down here and you put it on, here we have a jacket, etc, ok, good, en el último ejercicio, because we have to go now, in the last exercise, completas, hat, shorts, jacket, pants, 
t-shirt and sneakers. Okay, guys, that was it for today. Thank you so much for being with us. Say bye-bye, Mr. Monkey. Bye, kids.